The bacteria in our gut plays a significant role in our health, and we can see that certain gut bacteria are often associated with diabetes, obesity, and other metabolic diseases. We have plenty of research that this bacteria is affected by the content of our diet, or what we eat. But could this bacteria be affected by the timing of when we eat, like intermittent fasting? Let's look at some recent research from the Journal of Cell Reports. Researchers compared two groups of mice. One group of mice was fed under a time-restricted feeding, or TRF protocol. This meant that the mice were only allowed to eat when they were most active, and not allowed to eat during their sleep times. So because mice are nocturnal, it means that they were most active at night, and these mice were only fed at night. A second group of mice was fed in the absence of TRF. This group was allowed to eat at any time of the day or night as they pleased. They found that the mice allowed to eat whenever it wanted had a negatively altered gut microbiome, one that potentially contributed to worsened metabolic health and obesity when compared to the mice that were only allowed to eat during the night. Researchers believe that one of the reasons for this negative alteration in gut bacteria was a decrease in the dynamic changes of the mice's gastrointestinal system. Now, what do I mean by dynamic changes of the gastrointestinal system? Well, when we eat throughout the day, our body learns our feeding rhythms and acts accordingly. For example, if I'm used to eating three times a day, say at 8 a.m. for breakfast, 12 noon for lunch, and 6 p.m. for dinner, my body will be in the routine of preparing itself to receive food at those times by getting my gut moving and producing stomach acid and other digestive enzymes. You can feel this happening when you're nearing a meal that you usually eat and feel your stomach grumbling and growling. This is because your digestive system is awakening and acting preparing to receive food. When you're done eating and digesting, and start going to bed at say midnight, your digestive system kind of slows down and goes to sleep since it no longer needs to digest food anymore. This cycle of awakening and sleeping of your digestive system is what we call the dynamic changes in your gastrointestinal system. When you're in the habit of eating at any time of day and night, your digestive system is kind of forced to be awake more often and is not sleeping as often. This results in a decrease in the dynamic changes in your gastrointestinal system. What researchers found in the mice was that this decrease in the dynamic changes of the gastrointestinal system allowed for the proliferation of bad gut bacteria, ones that potentially promoted obesity and metabolic disease. Why? Well, it's a complex topic, and researchers believe it has something to do with the fact that certain hormones and bile acids you produce while eating can impact what kind of gut bacteria thrive in your body. And constant exposure to these digestive enzymes might have negative effects on the gut microflora. So for the mice that were allowed to eat at any time of the day or night, their digestive systems were constantly working, and as a result, their gut was constantly exposed to digestive hormones and enzymes. It appears that this constant exposure resulted in the growth of bad gut bacteria that might contribute to their obesity later on, even though they were fed the exact same food and amount of food as the mice that were fed only during the night. This mechanism is also seen in humans, with eating at any time of the day causing a decrease in these dynamic changes. We believe that this is one of the reasons why eating late at night might be bad for your health and potentially increase your risk of obesity and other metabolic diseases. Restricting your eating window, for example through intermittent fasting, can help to increase the dynamic changes in your gastrointestinal system. It allows your gut to rest, so to speak, so that it isn't constantly bathing your gut in digestive enzymes and hormones, and this is believed to help other beneficial gut bacteria to grow and increase the diversity of the gut microflora. We believe that this is one of the reasons that intermittent fasting is quite beneficial for weight loss and metabolic health. These effects are also independent of the amount of calories consumed. The total amount of food consumed by both groups of mice were equal. One group was just allowed to eat it at any time. Yet there was still a difference in the gut microflora. 
This means that eating late at night or allowing yourself to eat at any time of the day or night might still have negative effects on your gut microbiome and increase your risk of developing metabolic disease and obesity even if you're not eating that much. It also means that restricting your eating to certain times might be beneficial to your gut and decrease your risk of obesity even if you're eating the same amount per day. So how can we use this information to help promote the growth of beneficial gut bacteria to help with weight loss and improve metabolic health? Well, it might be a good idea to give your GI system a rest from time to time. This means trying to restrict your eating to the daytime and when you're awake and active and minimizing eating when you're supposed to be sleeping. You can try reducing snacking late at night by using distraction techniques such as sipping on water, chewing gum, or playing video games, or trying things that make late night snacking harder to do, such as brushing your teeth right after dinner, or having no snacks available in the house at all, or you know, just go to sleep earlier. You might not have to do this every single day since another study found that the benefits of restricted eating were still present in mice who were restricted to eating only five days a week and allowed to eat whatever they wanted on weekends. So you might be okay to have one or two cheat days a week. Also, there might be more benefits to fasting or intermittent fasting than simply reducing calories. So while intermittent fasting often does help people to eat less, if you're intermittent fasting and you're not losing weight, you might still want to continue if it's not too much trouble. It'll help give your digestive system a rest and promote the growth of bacteria that are good for your metabolism, which may help your weight loss journey later down the road. Now, the studies don't compare how fasting for different lengths of time might affect the microbiome, so it's hard to say, for example, that having one meal a day would be any better than a 16-hour intermittent fast for your gut. I personally think that fasting and intermittent fasting is something worth doing from time to time, even if you're no longer trying to lose weight. And if you really can't stand fasting, I would still try to keep my eating to the daytime and avoid eating late at night so that your gut has some time to rest. Just remember that when you eat might be just as important as what you eat. Hi, I'm Dr. Brian. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date. And if you found it informative, please leave me a like and share this video with someone you know can use the info.